Hi guys, welcome back to the tutorial on how to use Virtual DJ 7. Uh, today, we're going to be looking a little more into hot cues, especially into creating beats. Um, now this is going to be extremely helpful if you don't have a song that has a beat that you want to use, or you just want to do something cool with your free time. So I'm going to load up this song, Oh Yeah, by Daft Punk, in here. Now I've already queued it up already, but let's just hear what it sounds like without any mixing. Sounds pretty cool. So I have hot cues at different spots. If you watched the last video, you know how to put it in. However, I'll show you again if in case you didn't see the last video. So we're gonna remember option and number one to bring to the first cue, option two to the second cue, option three to the third cue, whatever. Um, so we've set our first cue at option one. That's just like the bass drum kick. We're gonna go to option two. There's your click and another spot. So we're going to pick option one and wherever we want this cue to be, so let's just move it there and we'll say control one and there's our cue. So now I've got it loaded up and it'd be kind of hard to mix so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to select this lock button over here which is, allows me to show to lock the key pitch so if I didn't do that it would sound like I was scratching a record. So that's not going to work. So we're going to lock it up so that the pitch stays the same. And we're going to bring it down to about 70 BPM, which is going to give me plenty of time to work with. I can do a slower pace, I can do a quicker pace, and I won't run into other beats in the song that have already been processed. So I'm going to go to Q1, and what I like to do is hold down the Option key with my thumb and use my both of my hands to do the cue. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do a simple beat. Which is basically the beat of the song. Now, I've gotten different spots in this song as well. Um, I've gotten Q8, which works nice. Q5, which is a nice, almost like a bass beat, which is nice. And anyway, so I can go through and I can cue this up. So, So I've got all my cues up, everything sounds nice. Uh, that's basically it for hot cueing. This is going to be a nice short video, so I'll add something else in the video as well. Um, and that's how to use some of the effects in the, in the thing. This will be extremely helpful if you have a song you want effects in. So we're going to take a look at a song, Hide and Seek. Uh, I like the Alpha Jack remix, which is really nice that he did it his Essential Mix a while ago. Anyway, so we'll open that song up. We just double clicked and dropped into Deck 2. We'll go into more and dropping into decks later. Anyways, so we're in hide and seek. I've already got a queue up in the first place, hide and seek, where she starts singing. Mm -hmm. Which is already heavily processed, but I want to add a little bit more of a reverb to it, which would be cool. So we're going to go in the effects menu, which is over here, and go over to reverb. And we're going to activate on deck two. You can tell which deck it is by these numbers. So one, two, three, and four. So we're going to go over to two. And I'm going to select my reverb effect, activate it, and I'll just play with the sizes and it'll sound kind of cool. Which is cool. And the other thing I like about Virtual DJ is it doesn't just drop the effect when you stop playing the song. So I can play a song, and when I pause it, the effects carry. So it works very nice if you're switching off a deck, you want to throw a reverb in real fast, and get a nice build down as you go through. Um, another effect you might want to look at, which I really especially like, is the break effect. It's really good when switching off a song and you don't want that uncomfortable silence, so I can play something, which works nicely. The last one I want to take a look at is Beat Grid. This is a really cool song, especially if you have something that you want to have things on. So I'll take off the reverb because it's not going to sound very good. Now this allows me to take parts of the songs. Now what is kind of confusing about this is what these bars are, where they're very long. These are the four beats of the song. Right here's one, two, three, and four. And it allows me to play the thing multiple times. 
So if I just selected this whole thing and I cleaned it all out by clicking on the tracks and made it all white, it would just play that a million times. But by using the other ones, it comes out kind of cool. So we're going to activate it on deck two, and we're going to play. Which sounds kind of cool. And um, if I clean it out, I'll show you exactly what it sounds like. Oh, I'm going to activate it. So that's what it sounds like. And it's not exactly the coolest sound. So I try not to use it. So we're going to play with this a little bit. Oops. And get back to our first thing. Oops. Sorry, that's better. Which sounds pretty cool. You can throw it on beats, you can throw it on vocals, you can throw it on whatever, really whatever you want. And it works very nicely. Um, if you want to activate it on decks 3 and 4, which we'll show how to mix in 4 decks later, you can click onto whatever deck you want. And the only way you can do it is to go to your effects menu and drop down and select Beat Grid. All these settings will still stay the same for every deck, so you cannot play with multiple beat grid settings on multiple decks. You would need different, two different beat grid effects that were playing on two different decks. But if you only like this one, which is really what I like, then it, it works. Um, and so you can click this and you can play it with whatever song you want. And by clicking on this, you're clicking activate and it works very nicely.